While the B-29 bomber's air-to-air -air kill record during World War II was quite impressive, it was around an order of magnitude lower during the Korean War, just six years later. The intent of this video is to compare the B-29's kill ratio values during World War II and the Korean War and address the reason for the value's disparity. This video trends nicely with the channel's recent release justifying and ranking the kill ratios of the U.S. World War II Navy and Army Air Forces fighters with the Hellcat at 19 to 1 down to the Lightning at 2.8 to 1. The B-29 is armed with 12 Browning 50 caliber machine guns and 5 remote control turrets, as shown in this figure. The turrets are controlled by 5 gunners located in the nose, 2 side blister stations, 1 crown station, and a tail station. The gunners sight the target visually with the general electric design pedestal gun sight. Between the gun sight and the turret is a vacuum tube analog computer calculating a turret ballistic solution. The computer takes into account the range of the target, bullet drop from gravity, deflection, windage, and parallax, as discussed in this 1944 B-29 gunner's information file. These ballistic corrections increase the gun's effective range beyond the standard B-17 effective range of 600 yards to 900 yards. This is also well beyond a fighter's effective range of 400 yards. The turret's rate of azimuth travel is 45 degrees per second and elevation at 30 degrees per second. This table lists the number of Japanese interceptors destroyed in air-to-air -air engagements by B-29s from both the 20th and 21st Bomber Commands from a declassified summary 20th Air Force's operations document. 213 aircraft were destroyed by the 20th and 756 by the 21st, for a total of 969 Japanese enemy aircraft destroyed in air-to-air -air engagements. This table lists the number of B-29s destroyed by month and year. The number of B-29s destroyed in air-to-air -air engagements is 83. This value is the sum of enemy aircraft column plus half credit of B-29s lost by both enemy aircraft and anti-aircraft fire. The B-29s World War II air-to-air -air kill ratio equates to 11.7 to 1. Although bomber-credited kills are known to be overstated, the B-29's credits are likely to align with the lower overclaim levels of fighters. This is due to claim verification from bomber gun camera footage. This image shows the B-29 turret's camera port location. This page addresses enemy loss over claims and states that the claims board has taken extra effort in eliminating duplicate and invalid claims during kill credit investigations from a 1944 20th Bomber Command Operations document titled Combat Performance of the Remote Control Turrets of the B-29 Aircraft. We can now update the World War II U.S. air-to-air -air kill ratio ranking chart by inserting the B-29's 11.7 to 1 kill ratio between the Hellcat and 19 to 1 and the Corsair at 11.3 to 1. The B-29's kill ratio exceeds the Corsair's, Mustangs, Thunderbolts, and Lightnings. In evaluating the B-29's air-to-air -air combat record, 20th Bomber Command Operations Analysis concluded the defensive guns on the B-29 are superior to any World War II bomber, and with a few tweaks will be the first bomber to be truly capable of defending itself on combat missions. P-51s were deployed from Iwo Jima to provide fighter escort for the B-29s attacking the Japanese home islands. The B-29 gunner's running joke was that they would tell the escorting Mustangs, hey guys, stay close and don't worry, we'll protect you from any Japanese fighters. This page outlines aircraft combat losses during the Korean War from a 1962 USAF Historical Division's Lies on Office document titled USAF Tactical Operations World War II and Korean War. 17 B-29s were lost in air-to-air -air combat. B-29 gunners claimed 19 interceptors destroyed. 16 of the 19 destroyed were MiG-15 jets. This equates to a B-29 Korean kill ratio of 1.12 to 1. For reference, the Mustang's Korean War kill ratio was 1 to 1, with 10 kill credits and 10 Mustang losses. So why was the bomber's kill ratio so much lower? At the start of the Korean War, North Korean inventory consisted of 70 planes, mostly vintage Russian Yak-7 and Yak-9s, as discussed on this page from an Air Force history document titled, The FEAF Bomber Command in the Air War in Korea, 1950-1953. This image shows the Yak-7 and Yak-9. While these planes had some success against the German Air Force in World War II, they could not attack a fast, high-flying B-29. As long as the B-29s did not encounter a modern air defense system, the North Koreans posed little threat. This map shows the 38th parallel separating North and South Korea and Migali. This page describes the B-29's new threat from a 2005 Air Force Historical Foundation Symposium document titled Coalition Air Warfare in the Korean War. The game changed when the MiG-15 was introduced in November 1950.
B-29s needed to be escorted by F-86s. MiGs bypassed these escorts and shot down five B-29s in a single week. That's five of the 17 total lost in aerial combat during the war. After this battle, B-29s became a night bomber where fighter attack was much less likely. The B-29s computerized turret gun system struggled in tracking the fast-flying MiGs. This page describes a battle in more detail from a 1953 Development of Night Air Operations 1941-1952 document. When MiG and B-29 air engagements occurred, the slow, lumbering, virtually obsolete B-29s were almost helpless. Jet escort did not stop the MiGs. During the six-day battle, MiG shot down five B-29s, three F-86s, and one F-84 for a loss of 12 MiGs. Bomber losses were too high. Daylight B-29 missions were suspended. The MiGs were fast and nimble and armed with two 23mm autocannons and a single 37mm autocannon. These armaments were well suited for bomber engagements and the MiG-15 was specifically designed as a B-29 interceptor. It posed a threat to both B-29s and U.S. jet fighters. In summary, the B-29's World War II kill ratio equated to 11.7 to 1, while its Korean War kill ratio equated to 1.1 to 1. The difference in the kill ratio is due to the slow-flying B-29's as compared to the fast, nimble MiG, and the gunner's ability to effectively track the MiG with its World War II vintage defensive armament system. If you've enjoyed this B-29 World War II versus Korean War air engagement kill ratio deep dive review, please consider supporting the channel by liking, commenting, and or subscribing to World War II U.S. Bombers.